Greetings. This will be a short tutorial on custom calendars. Custom calendars give you the ability to set a particular date that a schedule is going to run or several dates that a schedule is going to run. There's no pattern to it and it's particularly helpful when you have specific days that you can't programmatically include. Moreover, it's also great if you have it you need it to run for a particular set of days and then never again. Okay. There are two ways you can actually access custom calendars. One way is through the main ribbon. You'll see custom calendars right there at the top. If you select custom calendars, it then brings up a list here and particular dates that you can select. Calendars that you've already created will show up here on the left and each calendar will display the dates that they're running on the far right. You can also import calendars uh, from Outlook or from other places and you can also edit your existing ones. Let's make a new calendar. What we will do, we will first name the calendar and then we'll start selecting the specific dates that we want the calendar to run on. It's easy as just picking the particular date out of the calendar. Once you're satisfied with the days that the schedule is going to run, you can simply click OK. What if you want some of your dates to be, to be the same date next year? Well, since it's a custom calendar, there's no pattern to it, to, your, to the selection of your dates. So you'll need to go to the next year to select that next date. For example, this is going to run August the 11th of 2011, August the 24th of 2011, let's actually go to August the 24th of next year. And we'll have to select that date there. So that way the custom calendar will know to run it on this particular day this year and that same day next year. Once you're satisfied, you click OK. Once the calendar is saved, any other schedules that's using that calendar will also automatically be updated with the new dates. What if you want to program in holidays? Let's add a new calendar. Name it. And then down here, you have the options to select United States holidays, United Kingdom holidays, Irish holidays or our holidays in Scotland. Simply select the particular days that that calendar will include. And there you go. So now you'll see here that your calendars that your calendars listed there, you can rename it as desired. Another way you can get to custom calendars is from within a schedule itself. Simply open a particular schedule and go straight to your scheduling section. If you select the custom calendar tab, from the drop down list, you can pick any of the holiday schedules that you've created. From here, you can also create a new schedule by selecting new. And again, just pick the particular dates that you want that particular schedule to run. Another way you can use custom calendars is as an exception calendar. So in other words, you could set a schedule to run every single day except for the days that you specified in your custom calendars. Well, there we go. We've just now learned how to set up an exception calendar that enables you to decide what particular days the schedule is going to run, especially if you don't have a particular pattern for them, or if you have particular days that you do not want a schedule to run. 